We're going to turn now to Dr. Jen Ashton and her medical questions. Uh, you have the answers. Yes. First question, are Moderna and Johnson & Johnson also testing their vaccines on 12 to 15 year olds? They are absolutely clinical trials. We call them bridging trials in the pediatric population going down to infants as young as six months of age are underway in all three of the vaccine manufacturers and developers that are right now authorized in the United States. So, you know, we saw them get FDA authorization in kind of rapid succession. We expect to see the results the results first, it's not a foregone conclusion of their clinical trials in kids very soon. And again, we've heard the CDC director say by the fall, by the end of this year, we should hopefully, if everything goes well, be able to see that authorized for, for that age group it will be important. Very good. All right. Next question. How do you know if you're eating too much salt? Well, you can't get your rings on. <laughs> that usually happens to me after some sushi. Um, look, there's a lot of controversy in the world of nutritional science about salt. In general, the American Heart Association caps it at 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. But again, they're really looking at people who have congestive heart failure or at risk for high blood pressure, et cetera, for a young, healthy person with normally functioning kidneys. A salty meal is not going to push them over the edge. It might make you feel bloated. It might make your, your fingers and feet swell. But again, your kidneys, that is their job to compensate for that elect electrolyte change. Yeah, and go ahead. Uh, well, I was asking about that amount, 1,500. What does that look like for us? It's not a lot. And if you read those labels, there can be 1,000 milligrams of sodium in a can of soup or in one meal, certainly oh. at a fast food place. So again, read the labels. And a lot of people are drinking those electrolyte drinks without really doing the exercise that justifies them. Right, but important, data has shown that people who get too little salt and people who get a lot of salt don't do well. The, mm. the majority in the middle of the U do okay. Oh, Good instead to know. of three, you got five questions. <laughs> so go. I'll take it anytime. <laughs> but by the way, you can submit questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.